Welcome to week one of your interprofessional education and collaborative practice course. Let's start by understanding what interprofessional education or IPE really means and why it's so crucial in our healthcare system. It's all about different professionals working together seamlessly for the best patient outcomes. I'll also talk about the core elements that make this collaboration effective. Next, I'll take you through a journey from the past to the present. We'll look at how IPE has evolved over the years and how these historical insights shape our current practices. It's fascinating to see the latest trends and innovations in IPE, and I'm excited to share how these are making a real impact globally in future sessions. Then we will review case studies, and these aren't just stories. They're a powerful example of how IPE can significantly improve patient safety and care delivery. I'll break down each case to show you the tangible benefits of effective teamwork in healthcare settings. To wrap up, I'll summarize our key points and underline the importance of continually learning and adapting in the field of IPE. This is a rapidly evolving area and staying informed is crucial for all of us in healthcare. Today, we're diving into the heart of interprofessional education or IPE. This isn't just a buzzword, it's a revolutionary approach in healthcare education. It's where students from various healthcare fields come together to learn how to work as a cohesive unit. Think of it as training for a medical orchestra, where each member knows their part and how it fits into the larger symphony of patient care. A key aspect of IPE is understanding and respecting each profession's unique role. It's about recognizing that a nurse's insight are as crucial as a doctor's diagnosis, and a pharmacist's knowledge complements a therapist's plan. This mutual respect is the foundation of effective teamwork in healthcare. Communication is the lifeline of any successful team, and in healthcare, it can mean the difference between life and death. IPE places a huge emphasis on honing communication skills among healthcare students. It's not just about talking. It's about listening, understanding, and responding in ways that enhance team dynamic and patient care. IPE is also about breaking down silos and fostering a spirit of teamwork. It encourages students to see beyond their specialties and understand how integrated care can lead to better patient outcomes. Through IPE, future healthcare professionals learn to collaborate effectively, ensuring that the patient receives comprehensive and coordinated care. The ultimate goal of IPE is to enhance the quality of patient care. By promoting collaborative practice, IPE aims to ensure that healthcare professionals work together seamlessly, leading to more efficient, effective, and patient-centered care. This approach is not just beneficial for patients, but also rewarding for healthcare professionals as it leads to a more harmonious and productive work environment. Building on our understanding of interprofessional education, let's delve into its rich history. This timeline captures the milestones that have shaped IPE over more than a century, charting its growth and the deepening recognition of its value in healthcare. In the early 1900s, the concept of IPE took root. It was a time of innovation in laying down the foundational principles that would guide collaborative healthcare practice for years to come. By the mid 20th century, we see a significant uptick in the adoption and integration of IPE principles. This was a period where the focus on team-based care began to crystallize, influenced by broader social and cultural shifts. As we move to the end of the century, there was a concerted effort to formalize and standardize IPE across educational institutions. This era brought a surge in research, which reinforced the importance of IPE in improving patient outcomes. Entering into the 21st century, IPE became an indispensable part of healthcare education. The last two decades have seen accelerated integration of IPE into the healthcare system, reflecting a global consensus on its necessity. In our most recent history, the focus has shifted towards innovation of IPE leveraging technology and new pedagogical approaches to further enhance collaborative learning. 
The field is continuously evolving with ongoing research and development shaping the future of healthcare education. That this historical perspective not only helps us appreciate the past efforts, but also inspires us to continue advancing IPE. The evolution of IPE reflects a broader commitment to excellence in patient care through improved collaboration among healthcare professionals. To consolidate your understanding of interprofessional education and collaborative practice, I put together a list of 24, I think 24 essential terms. Um, first off, we're going to start with interprofessional education, which we've defined already, but it's like a group study where people from different healthcare jobs learn together. Collaborative practice is when these people actually work together using what they've learned to help patients. Team-based care is another term that we want to pay attention to, and it's all about working as a team to look after patients where everyone has a special part to play. And then patient-centered care is making sure that what the patient needs and wants is the most important thing. We also have interprofessional competencies, which are must-have skills for working in a healthcare team, like good communication and understanding your role. And speaking of roles, role clarification means making sure everybody knows what their job is and what everyone else does. An interdisciplinary team is a group of healthcare workers from different areas who come together to care for patients. And communication skills are super important because they help the team talk clearly and listen well. On this slide, we're not going to go in order, but we'll, we will start with team dynamic, which is about how well the team works together. It's the energy and connection between team members, um, whereas conflict resolution is the way the team deals with disagreements and find solutions. We're then going to define cultural competence, which is understanding and respecting each patient's culture. It's like being a good guest in someone's home. You want to be respectful and considerate. An ethical practice is um, doing the right thing in healthcare, following the rules and your conscience. Now we're going to go up to shared decision making, which is when doctors, nurses, and patients all make health decisions together. And reflective practice, which is next to it, it's like doing a replay of what happened to learn and get better for the next time. Interprofessional learning is when healthcare workers learn from each other on the job, not just in school. And then quality improvement, we all know this term is about always trying to improve how care is given, finding ways to do things better. So the terms on this slide um, start with patient safety. And this means doing everything possible to keep patients safe from harm. Evidence-based practice is using information from research to make sure the care is given, um, that the care is given is the best it can be. And then healthcare system is the whole world of healthcare, including hospitals, clinics, and even the laws about health. That includes administration, research, and all of the areas. Clinical leadership is when someone leads that healthcare team, making sure everyone is doing their best for the patients. The other term that we want to learn is professional identity, which it's about knowing your role and being proud of the work you do in healthcare. And then interprofessional collaboration is all about teamwork, where different healthcare workers come together for the patient's benefits. The last two terms are advocacy and health literacy. Advocacy is standing up for patients, making sure they get what they need. And health literacy is helping patients understand health info so they can make good choices for themselves. So let's connect the dots between the terms we just covered and the real impact of interprofessional education or IPE on healthcare. IPE isn't just about learning together, it's about how that learning translates into better health outcomes. Imagine a healthcare team that communicates like friends with a shorthand. They get each other. That's what IPE does. It improves communication and teamwork, so the care is smooth and coordinated. 
Patient safety is paramount and IPE is a cornerstone in that. It's like adding extra layers of protection around the patient, ensuring everyone is watching out for their safety. Decisions in healthcare can be complex, so IPE brings multiple heads together to ponder over these choices, leading to more well-rounded and informed decisions. As we all know, mistakes can happen, but IPE acts like a proofreader, catching errors before they reach the patient, and this leads to noticeable reduction in clinical error. How do patients feel about this? They're happier and more satisfied because they're experienced they experience care that's more like a well-rehearsed orchestra than a solo act. IPE also makes sense economically. It's like shopping in bulk, but more efficient and cost-effective. By improving how teams work, we can save time and resources, translating to cost savings. And finally, IPE encourages everyone to stay on their toes, ready to learn and adapt. It's an approach that keeps the healthcare environment dynamic much like a startup culture where learning and adapting are part of the daily routine. As we move forward, keep these points in mind. They're not just theory, they're the concrete benefits that IPE brings to our healthcare system. Consider these benefits as we discuss further how IPE plays out in real world scenarios and case studies in the following slides. Now let's zoom in on one of the standout benefits of interprofessional education. Enhanced communication and teamwork among healthcare professionals. It's like upgrading from walkie-talkies to smartphones in terms of how well team members can connect with each other. Consider a real life example, a study in a hospital setting. Here, IPE didn't just change the game, it rewrote the rules. Because of IPE training, nurses, doctors, and other health staff started talking to each other in a more effective way. What does more effective mean? It's like everyone speaks the same language now. They're clear, they understand each other, and they're on the same page when it comes to patient care. This isn't just good for the workflow, it directly affects the people we're all here to save, serve, the patients. Um, it makes me think about my Gen Alpha child when he says the word woke, or he says um, goat, for me, that's an animal, but it really means greatest of all time. With better communication comes a drop in errors. It's logical, right? If you understand instructions clearly the first time, you're less likely to make a mistake. This is crucial in a hospital where a single error can have serious consequences. But it's not just about reducing error. This kind of teamwork leads to a better patient outcome. We're talking about faster recoveries, more accurate diagnosis, and overall improved healthcare experiences for patients. As we move to the next slide, keep in mind this link between good communication, strong teamwork, and the positive ripple effects they have on patient care. Think about how these improvements in communication and teamwork can be implemented in your future healthcare settings and the impact they could have on your patients' lives. Let's discuss another cornerstone of IPE, better decision-making. IPE creates a collaborative environment, much like a round table where every expert contributes their piece to the puzzle. It's about harnessing the collective wisdom of diverse professionals. Think of it as a team of experts from different fields coming together to solve a complex problem. Each brings their unique knowledge and together they can see the whole picture more clearly. This multidisciplinary approach is crucial for comprehensive and effective decision making. We can see this in action with a case study from a primary care setting. There, a team of healthcare providers, each trained in IPE, came together to craft care plans. Because they were all contributing, the plans they made were not just good, they were tailored to fit each patient like a glove. The outcome? Healthier patients and more successful treatment. It's like using a GPS along with a map. You have more information so you can navigate more accurately and reach your destination more efficiently. With this in mind, as we move into the next topic of reducing clinical errors, reflect on how this improved decision-making process is not only beneficial for patient outcomes, but also integral in 
minimizing mistakes in care. As future healthcare professionals, consider how you contribute to this collective decision-making process and how it can enhance your ability to provide top-notch care. Now let's talk about how interprofessional education or IPE acts as a catalyst for reducing clinical errors. It's like giving a map to a group of hikers. With it, they're less likely to make a wrong turn. IPE sheds light on the who's who and who does what within a healthcare team. It clarifies roles and responsibilities, making sure that everyone knows their part and how it fits into the bigger picture. Consider a surgical team, for instance. After bringing IPE into their routine, they saw a real change. It's as if a team of chefs in a kitchen started using a well-organized recipe. Suddenly, there are fewer burned pies and much more culinary success. The numbers speak for themselves, a noticeable dip in surgical errors and complications. Why? Because the surgeons, nurses, anesthesiologists, and techs were all in sync, communicating clearly and working as a united front. This isn't just about avoiding mistakes. It's about fostering an environment where errors are less likely to happen in the first place. It's a proactive approach like double checking the parachute before a skydive. With this in mind, as we progress to the next slide, consider how solid foundation in IPE can be a game changer in clinical settings, ensuring high standards in patient care and safety. As you reflect on this information, think about how understanding the team role can be a strong defense against the risk of error in your future healthcare practice. Stepping beyond the technical benefits of IPE, let's look at its impact from the patient's perspective. IPE doesn't just make things better behind the scenes. It makes patients feel better about their care. It's all about the patient experience. When healthcare teams communicate well and work together like a well-rehearsed band, patients notice. It gives them confidence in their care, like knowing you're in good hands on a turbulent flight because the flight crew is calm and coordinated. There's real evidence backing this up. Take a case study from a rehab, rehab center where patients gave two thumbs up for the care they received from a team trained in IPE. They didn't just feel taken care of, they felt truly looked after, as if the team was a family taking care of one of their own. Why does this matter? Because patient satisfaction is a cornerstone of healthcare quality. Satisfied patients are more likely to follow their care plans come back for follow-up appointments, and even recommend the facilities to others. It's like a good restaurant. People keep coming back and bringing their friends when they love the service. As we proceed, think about the ripple effect of patient satisfaction. It's not just about a single positive healthcare experience. It's about building a reputation for excellence that resonates through the entire healthcare community. Reflect on how in your future healthcare roles, fostering teamwork and clear communication could elevate the level of care you provide, leading to happier and more satisfied patients. Let's now address a practical aspect of interprofessional education that often flies under the radar, cost effectiveness. While it's not the headline grabbing benefit, it's a significant one. IPE can tighten the purse strings in healthcare without cutting corners on care. Think of it this way. When a healthcare team works together seamlessly, it's like a car running on all cylinders, efficient and smooth. IPE helps streamline processes, allowing different team members to use their skills exactly where they're needed, reducing overlap and waste. Case studies have pointed out that when you reduce errors, you're not just saving patients from a potential harm, you're also saving costs associated with fixing those errors. It's like catching a typo before you print a thousand flyers. You're saving the time and expense of a reprint. By optimizing the use of resources, whether it's time, equipment, or expertise, the teams trained in IPE cut down on unnecessary spending. It's similar to a well-managed budget at home. Every dollar is used wisely and nothing is wasted. 
So while IPE is about improving healthcare quality, it also makes economic sense. It's like buying in bulk, the more efficiently you can use your resources, the more you save in the long run. As we move forward, remember that cost-effective care isn't about being cheap. It's about being smart with our resources. IPE Health helps healthcare teams do just that, benefiting not just the patient, but the entire healthcare system. Consider how in your future roles, embracing the principles of IPE could contribute to a more sustainable and financially responsible healthcare system. All right, I jumped into the next one. Um, so as we explore further into the IPE realm, we discover its profound influence on nurturing a culture of continuous learning and adaptability in healthcare setting. It's about creating a mindset where professionals are always ready to grow and adjust to new situations. Imagine healthcare professionals as sailors navigating the ever-changing seas. IPE is like the constant training that helps them adjust their sails to the winds of change, ensuring they can handle whatever the sea throws at them. A compelling example of this comes from a case study of a rapid response team in a hospital. Post IPE, their ability to swiftly adapt to unexpected medical emergencies soared. It was as if they had developed a sixth sense for anticipating and responding to the next um, moment. Why is this important? Because healthcare is ever evolving. Disease, technology, patient needs, they're all in a flux. A team that can learn and adapt quickly is like a smartphone with the latest updates. It functions as its best and stays relevant. This adaptability goes hand in hand with the learning culture. IPE encourages healthcare professionals to be lifelong learners, constantly seeking new knowledge and skills. It's an environment where good enough is never the end and better is always the horizon. As we prepare to shift our discussion, let's reflect on how adaptability and learning culture promoted by IPE can empower us to meet future challenges in healthcare with confidence and competence. Think about your own approach to learning and change. How can you apply the principles of IPE to become a more adaptable and proactive healthcare professional? So as we wrap up our exploration of interprofessional education, let's take a moment to reflect on the key takeaways. IPE is more than a concept. It's a critical component of modern healthcare that brings out the best in teamwork and patient care. We've seen how IPE cultivates essential teamwork and communication skills that are the lifeblood of effective healthcare. It's about building a bridge between different healthcare disciplines to provide a care that truly centers around the patient. The healthcare landscape is constantly evolving and IPE has been pivotal in transitioning from silo training to a unified collaborative approach. This shift is perfectly in tune with the complex healthcare needs and challenges of our times. We've delved into various case studies that don't just suggest, but clearly demonstrate the positive impact of IPE. These real world examples show undeniable improvements in patient safety and overall care quality, underscoring the significant role IPE plays in healthcare setting. In conclusion, IPE is not just about individual benefits, it's about enhancing the entire healthcare ecosystem. It equips professionals with the skills to collaborate effectively, adapt to changes, and continually pursue excellence in patient care. As you review the course chapters this week, write your discussions in journals. Let's carry forward the principles of IPE into our daily practices. Let's commit to the collaborative spirit, the relentless pursuit of learning, and the dedication to patient safety that IPE embodies. Thank you for joining me on this journey through IPE. Remember, the collaboration and learning doesn't end here. They're just the beginning. These are the references of the books that I used um, for this training. And these are accessible through your MCPHS library. Thank you and have a great one.